episode two of Talking Zafoon, your uh, small woodwind Zafoon video cast. And this week, I got a couple things I'm going to go over. I'd like to talk about the uh, what I call the major triadic scale, and uh, more commonly known as major scale arpeggios, which are boring when you look at them that way. We'll try to make them more interesting. Uh, the reason they're so important is because when you know all 12 of them, 12 of everything in music, uh, if you know all basically all the basic finger positions you need on the Zafoon to play uh, almost any song, it uh, covers all of your basic intervals, major thirds, minor thirds, fourths, and fifths, which are the primary most important intervals, uh, it might be said. I know someone's going to argue with that, uh, but uh, they're the home notes of most of your songs. You're going to end on the tonic or you're going to end on the third sometimes. Uh, at any rate, it's important to learn these. So the it's usually taught when they teach music. You to learn the major scale and then you learn to form the chords by uh, certain formulas and things. but. I think the most important way to learn any song or thing you're trying to learn is first by getting it into your ears and your head. So a major chord, major triad, three notes. I call it a scale because on here we don't play chords. Anything we play is a set of notes. So a set of notes, I call a scale. Uh, and it's a triad there also. The triads are the basic root chords that are used in music, uh, and the major ones are the major ones. Uh, so the important thing to know is you take a root note, which is say hmm, and you know the sound, which is hmm mm, mm. one two three. Um, also do mi fa. If you want to use the do re mi, the solfege system as they call it. Uh, Get that sound in your head. With this instrument, it's more important than almost any other instrument um, to know the sound of the melodies and of the notes you want to play when you're playing them because of the fact there is so much bendability. And that's one another thing we're going to always be talking about on the Zapoon is how easy it is and sometimes often yeah, unintentionally we bend notes. Uh, so we're going to learn about controlling our note bending a bit. And these triadic scales help with that because you quickly go through to an octave. And the octave helps you hear the right tone. So we'll start with a C. And we're going to go through all 12. And I'll cover a few fingering things and uh, some little bit about note bending because there's some notes that can be hit uh, that are part of the... Uh, notes that are very easy to get if you can bend down a little bit. Uh, so C, C. Oh, what's our uh, what's our melody? C E G. Mm, mm, mm. Now we should learn all of them across the range. So. take those notes. Now maybe you can't hit the highest one, but uh, put some rhythm to it and just do something with it. to all those fingering positions. Now, to take this, we're going to do uh, all 12 of them by going through what they call the circle of fifths. Uh, that's basically where you go. The third note of the C chord uh, happens to be the fifth because it's the fifth note of the major scale. 
Um, so we go. We're going to make G our home note now. G, 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 which is G, B, D. So that note is a B. So the lowest note on the zaffoon is normally the C. You need to bend it down. Notice that you can tilt the zaffoon light slightly or uh, with your lip, uh, you push, push your lip out a little. Normally the lip, the lower lip is just relaxed on above your teeth in a natural position, but if you push it outward, it'll lower the tone, and if you pull it inward over the teeth more, it tightens up the embouchure and it raises the pitch. So uh, if I pull it in, I have to go on. Pulling it in, pulling it out, brings it down to the B. Um, those notes that are out of the range of the zaffoon, uh, they cause trouble sometimes. If you start, if you want to start a piece with that, because playing them cold, there you have to really have the sound in your head to, whereas the notes that are fingered properly, just relax your embouchure and play it, but you're doing an odd embouchure. So when you're hearing it, it you can play it. Let's go, let's try to get through this a little quicker. So the G, B, D. D, D. B, F, A, D, F sharp, A. Just from the sound. You should learn the sound. It's very important. Then you take a note, and if you're playing the wrong note, you'll know it right away. No. That's where you need to pull your lip in a little on the uh, F because uh, the F sharp. If, if you're playing the F by pulling it up, you can, the open F, the F. Just bring it tighter and bring, sharpen it up. Or you can bring the G down I'm holding the G fingering, and that's pushing the lip outward from the. So anytime you do that, you have to be aware you're doing it, so you bring it back to the natural position for everything else, of course. So let's A now. A, 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 A. A, C sharp, E, or half hold on the C sharp. Myself. E, e, G, B. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's out of my singing range. <laughs> uh, B. Oh, before I go on to that, I want to show something on the E fingering. The e uh, triad. So you have the E and then the uh, normal G sharp fingering, which this hole is open there if you can see that. Um, 
instead of I like to a lot of times play it this way uh, with uh, yeah this is hard to see so instead of basically what I'm doing different is instead of using one two three down here I'm using one two four which is like you use for the E flat and then when you go to B all you have to do is switch these two fingers you lift up the third finger and bring down the fourth finger and it goes from B now B. some of this video if <laughs> uh, so from the F sharp F sharp A sharp C sharp Kinds of melodies are based on major scale. Um, um, so now, um, where am I at? Where am I? At? <laughs> uh, so F sharp. So, so from. Uh, now we're on C sharp, D flat. So half hold the low one. So C, or it could be either C sharp, F sharp, G sharp, or D flat, F, A flat. Same notes. Notice the uh, the half hold D and uh, the A flat in the upper register is the same fingering, so uh, you have to re uh, recycles your fingering. Um, so from the now we're at the A flat. A flat, C, E flat. G, B flat. And then the B flat, B flat, D, F. And 
We're back to C. Now, you have all those. Once you've mastered all those, um, from the C, and we saw F was just below that. And from there, the next one up from the C was Take all three of those and put them together. And what do we get? Very basic blues pattern you can play with that. Um, the, uh, when you go one way on the circle of fifths, it goes to the fifth. When you go backwards, it's going to the fourth because the F is the fourth note of a major scale. So they call that the four chord. That's where they get these, this terminology. But you should just learn it by the sound. It's a fourth. And the fifth is... One more thing I wanted to cover. I showed you a little bit about note bending. Um, how low can you bend? So, this does depend on your reed. If you have a stiff reed, uh, you're, you get less bendability. And I've had reeds where I could not even bend it down to the B below the C. So, if you're someone that really likes on pitch and doesn't want bending, use a harder reed. Of course, harder reed takes also a little harder to play. Uh, so you need to be a little stronger. But um, so new players start out with a soft reed and they also have a tendency to go out of pitch more. Uh, so that's why it's very important. Train your ears. Can't say that enough. It's, uh, you have to tune yourself if you want to tune your zafoon. But uh, as far as uh, note bending, so uh, um, we went down to a B. Now, if we're playing in B flat, now notice when I bend down to the B flat, how my mouth, how my cheeks and my mouth go. And the, another thing with the zafoon, I told you about your lip going in and out. You also tilt the zaffoon in and out, so sharpen it by pulling it in, flatten it by so you put some of that, you combine that with moving your lip out and you can pull it down even more. So if we're in A, I'll play something in A minor right now. scale uh, so you can go way down if you'd like to and uh, that's about all I wanted to talk about this week I think so I'm gonna go out with a little tune right now and I have the music over here just in case but I don't think I need it and we'll see you next week and don't forget you can subscribe if you, it's, am I on the right side? I'm on the wrong side. It's right over there, right about there. There's a subscribe button and uh, you subscribe to this. So I'm gonna try to keep this going once a week, at least, maybe more. And I'm also gonna try to get a better camera. I'm using a webcam and it's uh, not the best, but I do have a good speaker, a microphone, and it's on. <laughs> Wasn't sure it was on for a second. Mm -hmm.